Hey guys, it's T from TarlaMakayev.com. How are you? So I just want to jump on here really quick and do another quick video. I just did one on my uh, Tiffany winner. This one's on a different topic. Um, as you all know, I struggle with anxiety. I have generalized anxiety disorder, but I'm pretty sure I have panic disorder too because I've had panic attacks and um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have that. So anxiety is not fun to live with. By the way, I'm just going to preface this video by saying if you have something to offer for anxiety, please do not inbox me with some solution. That's not why I'm doing this video, uh, not to be solicited. I'm doing this video to help provide a tip for some other people who are struggling. And it's actually something I actually never thought about. And I think about a lot of stuff. Um, and I tried, it seemed to help a little. So I take CBD oil, I've taken herbs and supplements, I've done everything you can, exercise. I mean, I think I, for me personally, I would have to exercise like an Olympian to literally get rid of my anxiety, I'm not even kidding. I feel like a wild horse sometimes, like I could just run and run forever. So um, normal amounts of exercise don't do it for me. I've tried everything. Um, obviously yoga is great um, or meditation. Um, I actually probably sound like I'm 90 now, but I have a deep breathing machine called Respirate um, to lower blood pressure. So I always had really low blood pressure my whole life up until about a decade ago. And I started taking care of my mom who was ill. And basically my health started suffering because when you're a caregiver or someone else, your health usually goes in the dumps. Unfortunately, you be often become more ill than the person you were taking care of, which is just a fact. Um, so I don't know if it's genetics because my mom suffered with high blood pressure um, in her life um, from her mid 40s or 50s on. Um, so I'm talking about two things. I'm talking about anxiety and high blood pressure. Um, I don't know if she really had anxiety, but anyway, this is a tip that's going to be good for both high blood pressure and anxiety, and you're going to probably laugh when you hear it. It's not exercise. It's not CBD oil. Again, please don't inbox me with any solutions. I'm not looking for that. I, I researched everything. This is singing. Believe it or not, it did never occur to me. When you are having anxiety, your breathing is very shallow, right? So you, like for me at least, it's like I have a very difficult time taking deep breaths, which is super unhealthy, and that creates anxiety also. It, it's kind of a catch-22, right? So I, I was like frustrated this morning. I'm like, what can I do to just stop this freaking anxiety already? I'm like over this. I'm tired of it. Like I'm tired of waking up like anxious. And I have to increasingly increase my CBD oil because I don't know if people know this, your body acclimates to it. So it's not like you can just take a set amount. It's like anything else. So this morning I was like, what the hell can I do? I'm just tired of feeling like this. And I Googled something and I found this psychologist or somebody who had written a book. And he basically said to sing... A funny song that you make up but I say sing any song so I they, they say there's a study actually where it's just one person but there was this old woman in the hospital who was like 76 who was basically having like dying practically and her blood pressure was skyrocketing through the roof and she liked to sing and she asked the doctors can I sing and they said sure so she sang for, I believe it was 20 minutes, and it literally dropped her blood pressure by 30 points. So blood pressure and anxiety are correlated because when you're very anxious, your blood pressure can like go up and down. So I thought about it, and this morning I was like, screw it, I love music. And so when I'm on walks, I bought AirPods, and I'm usually listening to something business related or something like about manifestation, which is great, the manifestation, particularly law of attraction. But like the other day I listened to music and it just really lifts your mood. I was a dancer as a child, so I grew up learning tap, ballet, jazz, and all that. And I love music and I have rhythm and I don't spend my nights going out clubbing and dancing because clearly we're adults and we're trying to work and get stuff done. Um, so this morning I literally sang for 20 minutes. <laughs> now this does not require a good singing voice at all. Um, you can sing to yourself, sing to your dog, sing in the shower, sing while you're making coffee. And literally, I was, believe this or not, I have, okay, don't kill me or don't judge me. I have like 28,000 photos on my phone. I know it sounds completely insane. I've saved so many photos for Instagram and Facebook and stuff, and I'm really bad at deleting them. Hey, Sonia. So this morning, while I was singing, I was going through and deleting photos, like while I was listening. So I wasn't just focused on the singing, but think about it. When you're singing, you have to take deep breaths. You can't sing like this, right? You have to take a deep breath. 
So again, in this study, it was only one woman, but they noticed this in a hospital. This woman dropped her blood pressure by 30 points by singing when it was skyrocketing. So I figure, what the hell? Music's therapeutic, you know, I mean, obviously I don't have tons of time to go to concerts and stuff, but think about when you're at a concert. Do you ever have anxiety? Okay, maybe you're drinking too and doing what else, whatever else we know or don't know, but like, honestly, when you're just sitting there relaxing, listening to music, are you, do you feel stressed? Are you thinking about your errands or what you have to do? You're not, you're just in the moment. That's what music does for you, it brings you in the moment. So I think a lot about the anxiety is like getting out of your your thoughts in the moment and just trans just transforming any like minute to minute so I actually felt calmer I sang for about 20 minutes <laughs> to myself and my dogs um, just mute songs that were on my iTunes you know in my playlist and I literally felt better not a hundred percent it's not like I'm saying this is gonna cure you but I think other people say get up and dance but like for anxiety I don't know if dance is enough but I mean singing really makes sense with the breathing so if you ever oh now I'm just getting a message iPhone storage full see what I'm talking about so I have to delete pictures so if you ever feel really stressed this is just a super simple tip and you don't know what to do I swear to God think of just try singing singing is enjoyable and it will um, help your breathing um, and get you out of that shallow breathing. So I know it sounds really random, but it's just something I stumbled upon. I like to share my tips with people because who knows, this could actually help you. And hey, if you're practicing to be a singer, it can even help your singing voice. Or, you know, maybe maybe you'll be thanking me at the Grammys in a few years because <laughs> you're going to have a record deal, all because of little old me, because I told you to sing because you had anxiety. Just kidding. But like, literally, like, it's just, it's, Think about when you're happy, you, you like maybe hum and you whistle and you sing when you're walking, right? So try that as a tip. It's something very minor. It, it's outside of the obvious ones I heard. Again, the CBD and the exercise and the herbs and the meditation and yoga. We've all heard these a million times. The other thing you might want to try that I wasn't going to throw in here, but I'll mention it to you. I'm going to goat yoga <laughs> this Sunday. I am so excited. Um, where it's yoga, but they include goats. So if you haven't heard of it, there's two goats in this class. They're baby dwarf goats. And one of them likes to go underneath you. So if you are in like a damn dog, they'll go like underneath you. And the other one likes to jump on you. So if you're in a plank, the other one will jump on your back. So I'm super excited because that combines the benefits of yoga, which is deep breathing along with, um, the goats. Animals are always therapeutic. I'll always spend time with animals too when you're stressed. But again, Sometimes your your anxiety like me may go beyond that where you need an extra because I have two dogs and they're primarily for like love, affection, and also my depression and anxiety as companions and they definitely do help, don't get me wrong. Um, but my anxiety, I believe it's caused by adrenal fatigue and that's a whole other video. But um, so it depends on the origination of your anxiety. But the best thing you can do, the number one thing people always say is deep breathing. So I, I find like in yoga classes, which are amazing, I'm not dissing yoga, I actually have a certification in yoga, but it, it's, you do feel great when you leave and stuff, but it's not always easy to control your breathing, which is why I bought this machine called Respirate, which again, makes me sound like I'm 90, <laughs> but it has like these tones and it helps, it's biofeedback basically. So it, it's regulating your body. It's saying, oh no, no, you got to keep breathing deeper and it will, it will like guide you and lead you. And so I think what happens in singing is that you're guided obviously by the music, the words and the notes and tones and stuff, but you don't have to think about it so much, but you are breathing deep just for, simply from singing along. Whereas in yoga, it's kind of like meditation where you actually have to think about, you know, okay, I got to deep breathe, deep breathe, breathe, oh my God, breathe deeply here. And I know maybe to some people, they may think like my video sounds insane. I sound crazy. It wasn't always hard for me to take deep breaths. It's really weird now. It's like my breathing has been shallow for so long from my adrenaline running that it literally is exhausting and difficult for me to take super deep breaths. It's it's like I have to almost force it, which sounds terrible because it, it does feel terrible. So yoga is not always going to be easy for everybody just to jump in and start taking these really deep breaths unless maybe you're 20 years old yeah i mean your lungs are great then <laughs> you don't have any stress probably then but as you get older it's not as easy so it just seems like oh just breathe deeply but it's it's also mental right so try this tip of singing i actually was going to sing for you so i'm really bummed because 
this lip sync live if anybody knows about lip sync live please drop below because I know how to work it I've never used it however I was under the impression that they had the lyrics scrolling so I don't know all the song lyrics for all these songs so um, I mean I know usually the chorus and stuff so there were no lyrics scrolling so I don't know if I missed out on that or what happened or if it's because my phone was in the horizontal position it should be in vertical yada yada I don't know if anyone knows about that are there any lyrics ever with lip sync live because I only have a few songs I don't have songs that I really know maybe as well um, so I was gonna start off singing for you but oh well they're just you know and it was gonna be my wonderful voice which would have been the artist voice because I my voice is just so so but um in fact, the, the Ariana Grande song would have been perfect for this. Just keep breathing, right? That song, see, I'm just very mediocre on singing. I can't really sing. So that is a tip that I hope you actually try. Just try if you feel like you are maybe not in the middle of a panic attack. I'm sure it would take a lot more. But if you feel like you just wake up and you feel like you're having shallow breathing and you can't calm down or whatever, try singing for 20 minutes cannot hurt it can only help raise your mood and and help with your breathing the other thing is that people have talked about before so it's not so novel but of course comedy laughing now it's hard to just make yourself laugh unless you're around me because then you'll always be laughing just kidding but no actually <laughs> I am pretty funny my friends tell me but if you don't have someone there to make you laugh um, then you should definitely take out a show that you enjoy a movie a TV show again this is gonna date me make me sound like I am so old I'm starting to talk accents again but I really love Three's Company that's from my generation so you're probably gonna guess my age now but I love it because it's one of the best sitcoms that's ever been on TV if, if you don't even know what I'm talking about Google Three's Company and find episodes are on cable they are hilarious and it's super modern day for the time uh, period that it was shot in the late 70s and early 80s um, but it, it, it has to do with three people living uh, in an apartment together and back in that time it was very taboo uh, for men and women to live together um, and so the landlords will only let them three of them live together if um, the one male roommate of the two of the three there's two men and one man if he says that he's gay so it's the whole comedy is that he's a straight guy who loves women and he's always pretending he's gay um, which is very very modern day right and it's just I laugh out loud when I watch that so it's like it's a lot of things I don't find very funny or watch if you find Saturday Night Live funny some of it is and some of it isn't but the main tip I wanted to give you was singing but of course laughing but all the other stuff exercise and your diet and your CBD oil we can all do that but there's different things that work for different people so anyways I'm just blabbing today because guess what I got to record all my videos for my giveaway that's coming tomorrow and I don't feel like doing it so I'm stalling so if you don't know already this is off topic but I do fashion and beauty giveaways I try and do them once a month it takes a little longer sometimes because I have to confirm winners and people have to get back to me uh, so I'm a little late starting this month but there's another giveaway coming that you will hear about tomorrow I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this one you're gonna like them all but this one uh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that most women on the face of the planet are gonna be clamoring for this one so watch for that and try singing I mean I do I'm trying it it seems to be working. Have a great day. Bye.